and welcome back to the Marley Note. I am here filming my first ever travel vlog and I am in New Haven. I am visiting the Yale School of Music. I recently graduated there two years ago and I'm super excited to be back here with friends, eating lots of food, and taking you around with me. I'm here with my friend Eric, an amazing trumpet player, and I'm staying in his amazing beautiful house here in, where are we, in Hamden? Yes. We are in Hamden, which is like 10 minutes from campus. Yeah, about a 10 minute drive from campus. I lived in East Rock my second year, and I lived downtown my first year and realized it was a little too expensive, so I moved to East Rock. It's the cutest little neighborhood right outside of the little downtown New Haven area. And I'm here with Arjun, my, yes. my viola studio mate. A good friend. Oh. Oh. Arjun just planted some amazing flowers outside of Zach and Eric's house. Yes. How amazing. Yes. <laughs> and I'm here with Zach and mom. And we are waiting to go to Geronimo's, wow. which is one of my favorite restaurants in New Haven. And I've been waiting and waiting. Gonna get that guac. Yeah, handmade yes. guacamole. Get that table guac. side. Mm, table, table side, side. handmade guac. So, and don't forget the margaritas. And, margaritas. and the margaritas. This is a vlog of me eating, drinking, and laughing with my friends. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this fun little vlog that I have here in New Haven, visiting the Yale School of Music and all of my former classmates, friends. Oh, my friends. And sweet, sweet. I'm never gonna be able to get off this floor. Gizmo! Aww. <laughs> hey, Gizmo. Hi, Gizmo. Yes, say hello. When we got into New Haven, I actually started off by exploring downtown, my favorite campus I've ever been on. It's so beautiful. The architecture is stunning. And I'm walking around with my mom. We stopped into Maison Matisse to grab a drink and a pee so we could keep walking around. And we just walked around the cute little shops at Broadway. They have J. Crew, Blue Mercury, Lululemon, LL Bean, Patagonia. They have all the cute shops you could need. You're set, you're ready to go. We're back at the Yale School of Music. This is Hendry Hall and it was, I think, new my first year was the first full year that this was open. It's the Adams Center for Musical Arts. And yeah, it was open my first year. We can't go inside right now because of COVID, but it's such a beautiful building. I love it. And it's actually connected to Lee Hall. So the string studios are in Lee Hall and we would have studio class there. I'd have my lessons. And sometimes I would even have my recitals in the top floor classroom. They have beautiful classrooms. So we would sometimes have recitals there, but it's so beautiful. And I would also have classes in there as well. Also, I would have classes in the Adams Center as well. As well. Also as well. As well. Also, also, also as well. But also as well. But also, <laughs> also. <laughs> and what's really nice about going to the Yale School of Music is we are directly across the street from the most beautiful library I've seen in my entire life. It's stunning. And now we're walking over to Sprague. Sprague Hall is also across the street and that's where we would have all of our recitals. Mostly the big recitals. The viola studio is actually required to give four recitals during our time here. Two years, four recitals. No other studio is required to do that, but it was really, really great for us. <laughs> really challenging, but it was really good for us. And of course, obviously other studios, you're allowed to give as many recitals as you'd like, but you're only required two, I believe, during your time. Or is it one? <gasps> One. I think it's only one. The violists were required four. <laughs> but we would give, I gave I think two in Lee Hall and then I gave the other two right here in Sprague across the street. It's really beautiful. Here is Sprague and Zach. Oh, 
Also around the corner, there's Blue State and Wall Street, which I learned closed. Wall Street Pizza. Wall Street Pizza. That's really sad. But Blue State is still there, and it's a great place to go get coffee. I don't drink coffee, but if you drink coffee, then it's great. Tea, cookies, Tea, brownies, cookies, anything. But like I mentioned, the Yale School of Music is right across the street from Sterling Library. And the music library is also inside. I took a class, Research and Editions, and the class was in the library, the music library. I did not appreciate how beautiful these buildings were every single day. But now that I'm back, I miss it. And they're beautiful. In the library, they have over 15 million volumes in their collection. It's a humongous library. There are many places to study, different courtyards, lots of resources for the students. The architecture, like I mentioned a million times, is so beautiful and stunning and jaw-dropping. Every time I walk in, I just forget how amazing it is. Music library is really interesting. It used to actually be a courtyard, an outdoor courtyard, and they built around it. And so you, it still looks like you're in an outdoor courtyard. It's, there's two levels. I actually met Zach for the first time in the library because I didn't know how to print my excerpts for my orchestra audition. <laughs> and Zach's been working in the library for a couple years. A couple though. years, and he's very knowledgeable, and he's been feeding me information about the library. There's a beautiful water feature outside of the library and it's called the Woman's Table. So the table is dedicated to the women at Yale and it commemorates 20 years of co-education at Yale, which is fabulous as a woman who went to Yale. So I love this table and I learned a lot about it today. <laughs> to be clear, it's 20 years from when it was commissioned of co-education here at Yale. So obviously many, many, many more women have attended and thrived and flourished here at the Yale campus, obviously. Now we're on our way to Geronimo's. Geronimo. Ger oh. <laughs> now we're on our way to Geronimo, not Geronimo's. <laughs> is just that good. You have to scrape every bit out of here. <laughs> yeah, every last drop. <laughs> I 
I got the enchiladas. And they look good. <laughs> My plate of food is gone. I am stuffed. I have two buttons on my pants I'm done right now. We've demolished two <laughs> bowls of guacamole. Two bowls of guacamole. You saw Zach scooping out the last bit. I'm in pain from how full I am. That was delicious. Let's see the rest of the table and their meal. Was it good? Yay! Did you enjoy it? <laughs> <laughs> it was delicious. So that's Geronimo, a favorite here in New Haven. Come here, get stuff, undo a couple of buttons on your pants, have some tequila. The capital of the world. It's a great time. in Egerton Park and it's a fun little hidden treasure here in New Haven. Right back. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? I we hidden treasure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the hidden treasure. Yeah. Beautiful, peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> I can't vlog. This is it. It's over. Right now we are at Delenia, and this is one of my favorite pizza places. I got the 5th of May, which is so good. Zach, tell them what you got. I got a vegan cheese pizza, a of vegan course. Cheese. John, what did you get? I got the honey pot. <laughs> <laughs> and I got the Clark Street. And I also got the honey pot. I ordered two because they're really good, <laughs> and I'm never here. And if you come here, then you should let us know what you what guys you are getting. Order. Let us know what you're ordering. Are you oh, ready? I'm ready. It has been two years. It should be able to give us two time. whole years yeah. without this. <laughs> I hope it's not going to no, be I hot and like burn my. Ah! It's melting. This is the truth. 
It's so funny because I had just been thinking about It's just Get in there. Get in there. Everything goes off. These restaurants that I oh God. love so much. Because why would I have an occasion to come back here? Right. And then she was Is like, that good or what? I'm so good. We need to go see her. Okay, so we finished our pizza. We have many boxes to go. It was delicious. And we got some pizza socks. Definitely wear your pizza socks. Oh yeah. How was the pizza, guys? Amazing. It was so amazing. Good. What's your favorite New Haven pizza? Is this it? Delenia. What's Delenia. your favorite? Delenia? Delenia. Delenia. All right. <laughs> we are on our way to the bar. Bar pizza. We got Amir. We got Eric. We got Zach. We got John. Hey. We got another John. Oh, we got we mom. Have, yeah, <laughs> and Zach's dad. <laughs> and we are going to bar. It is another pizza place. New Haven, visiting New Haven just means getting a bunch of pizza, That's apparently. Pizza, capital. pizza and friends. Pizza and friends. So we will see you there. Going into bar. Here we go. So we are at bar and it's such a cute little restaurant. You got the pool table, the TV, the bar, and a little back room. And we're gonna have some amazing food. What's your favorite? I don't know, don't they have a mashed They have a mashed potato pizza. Mashed potato pizza. My favorite is just the red pies. So you get all that dough. So we'll update you on our findings. Some house brewed beers, which is cool. And we're sitting behind these big old, what are they? Vats of beer? Yeah. Cause they brew their own beer here, right? Do they brew their own beer? They brew their own beer. Here's the rest of the party. And they brew their own beer here. So we got some good selections that. coming up. Yeah, it's a vat of beer. That's what I said. Okay, so I got the classic bar lemonade and I got, what did I, what is that, the black? <laughs> And I got the blackberry flavor. So, here we go. It's like lemonade. <laughs> so, if you get it, it's really good. Okay, so, first course has come out and we have our salad. And it's the most delicious salad I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably just a shot at the table, but <laughs> if you like salad and pizza, then you need to have this salad. Look at it for your health, of course. <laughs> I'm sadly wrapping up my stay here in New Haven, but the last step is packing beer for my husband. I don't drink beer, but East Rock Brewing Company has an amazing selection, if you're ever here. It's a fun place to go. Lots of good stuff. And I'm trying to figure out how to, I, Zach is trying to figure out how to pack that in my suitcase. So hopefully it makes it back to Miami Beach for Ian to drink and my husband, Ian, is a beer fanatic. He loves beer and he says it's the best beer he's ever had. So I feel like if he loves it that much, then you should try it. I can't speak from my own personal experience, but Zach likes it. I'm not even a beer person, and if I like it, anyone probably will. So maybe I'll try it. I'll let you know. I don't like beer, but if it's that good, then I'll try it. But I've had a really fun time being here in New Haven, and thank you so much for watching and following along with me with all the friends, pizza, laughs, and
good times. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next week here at the Marley Note.